believe it's about 45 degrees out today, and it's April 11th, I believe. I think it's the 11th. Um, it's so nice. I'm glad I caught it. You can just see it starting to recede before it totally disappears. It's probably incredibly thin right now. I almost don't want to disturb it, I want to just let it die naturally, so I'm going to try not to crash into it, but... Wow, look at how the ice crystals are melting and reforming on the edge there. A hole right there. I wonder what causes that. It appears to be where the ice recedes. This side of the island, I bet. Yeah, you can see the sun's up there in the clouds, I bet. That's, that's where the sun cut off line is. The shade of this island, the last insulator. Oh man, you get a lot of strange, really yellow and green colors that you don't usually get this time of year. I'm not, I don't think I've ever been out on the water. Uh, actually, last year, about a week, week or two later than this, I was out in the water. And I've swam in March before, but only very briefly, and it wasn't really checking out the uh, growth in the water at the time. Well, there's some things that are only accessible at certain times of year based on vegetation and growth and uh, water levels. I don't think the water level of Turkey Pond fluctuates much, fluctuates much though. Looks like we'll encounter some snow between the islands because there's two islands here that have a little cutway between them. Cutway isn't always clear, sometimes you gotta work your way through it. Probably is this time. Ooh, is that a bald eagle it looks like? Nice, that's a cool find. Very distinctive uh, head and, and tail feathers gave that away. <laughs> 